Hey you guys, this is Dr. Cunningham and happy 4th of July. Today we are celebrating Independence Day of the United States. I am also celebrating my independence from fibroids. On June 7th, I actually went through a surgery or a myomectomy um, where I had fibroids, almost one pound worth of fibroids removed from my uterus. It actually enlarged my uterus to be about twice the size that it's normally supposed to. And so I'm here on today because I would like to celebrate the fact that I have so many uh, positive results with regards to my myomectomy. Now, I also would like to make sure that I state that about 20 to 70% of women during the reproductive years will have fibroids, according to research. And it's very common and extreme for black women, where by the time they're the age of 50 years old, about up to 90% of black women have fibroids. And so it's important for us to be aware. I actually went to multiple OBGYNs before I finally went to an OBGYN. When I started going to see an OBGYN, I was in my late teens. It wasn't until I was in my early 40s that it was actually diagnosed that I have fibroids. The entire time that I've been on my period, for the majority of the years, I've dealt with extreme cramps, heavy bleeding, but my bleeding definitely increased in my 30s. And now I recognize that it was one of the symptoms of fibroids. And where I literally was wearing um, incontinence diapers because I would wear two um, pads and still bleed through my clothes and have to change my pads maybe um, every few hours. And I also had extreme cramps to the point where I would have to take time off from school or take time off from work and it would make me physically sick. And so for the first time in many years, I have a period where my flow is actually normal, where it's not overflowing. I don't have major blood clots. And honestly, and today's my first day on my cycle, I don't have cramps. Usually the first day or the beginning is where the major cramps happen. And I am not popping ibuprofen like Skittles, y'all. Do you know how happy I am? <laughs> And I'm not inflamed. I'm not feeling like, you know, overly puffy or anything. Like, there were so many different things that were going on with my body because of the fibroids. So I'm here to celebrate my freedom, my independence from fibroids. And if anyone else has gone through a surgery where they've had fibroids removed, I am celebrating your independence from fibroids as well. And if you happen to be dealing with any symptoms that I mentioned, meet with your OBGYN and just to discuss fibroids with them to see if they you know, can do an ultrasound or um, MRI to determine if you may in fact have fibroids. And then go and get that myomectomy. I actually um, utilized robotic surgery. It only required about two hours of my time and it went very well and I'm healing quite quickly. Again, June 7th was the day. So I'm probably close to about 30 days um, uh, post-surgery, I believe that would be tomorrow would make it about 30 days post-surgery, 28 days, something along those lines. So I certainly wish you all well, and here's the independence, and independence not only as an American, but an independence in so many other ways as we continue to thrive, attain, and refine. Enjoy your 4th of July, y'all. Have a great one.